big. That's nice. But that's fast, tight, punchy, crisp. You don't have to have it sound like that. You can take these exact same mics and drums, take them in a very different direction. Let's take a look at that. Welcome to Riding the Mix Bus with UBK. Episode 2. The dirtier, the better. In all things. If you're afraid of compression and don't want to EQ the mid-range, my condolences. For everybody else, stay tuned. Okay, let's listen to these mics in context of a little bit of music, and then I'll solo out the individual channels so you can hear what each set of mics sounds like. Nice. I would call this sound tight, punchy, snappy too. It's got a nice amount of crispness on the top. Not offensively so. So let's zero in on some of these sounds and see what's going on here. Let's start with the overheads, the Audio Technicas. Let's turn off all of our processing. I call that a relatively honest capture. A uh, little bit of a scooped sound, but I like that because it lets me fill in the mid-range with the character mics that I got. Um, so turn the processing back on. And then the bus processing. Next bus processing. Let's move over to the room mic. This is that Coles 4038 sitting on top of the tube traps in the back of the room. It's got a lot of boom. Some spanky mid-range. Abbey Road style Beatles treatment there, courtesy of the UVK one. It's a big change. Gives me the sustain and the movement I like. Snare mic, RE10. This is like, what is that? It's just crunch. It's old crunch. Bring out more of the boxiness. And add some nice smack with it. Get punchy. That's actually responsible for a lot of the punch in this sound, that one little microphone. And the kick drum. That's what you get for $5,000 in Omni on the batter side of a kick. Not that glamorous, but man, it lends itself to some really nice shaping. Yeah, nice warm thud. It's got a nice movement to it. Put it all back in play. big. That's nice. But that's fast, tight, punchy, crisp. You don't have to have it sound like that. You can take these exact same mics and drums, take them in a very different direction. Let's take a look at that. All right. So here's a different piece of music at a very different tempo. This is 20 some BPM slower and uh, requires a different mood. So I'm going to use the same exact drum mics in the same positions with the same drummer and treat them very differently, mix them very differently for a different effect. Let's see what we can get with that. That is very different. I would call this much more processed and crunchy, vintage, boxy. Definitely boxy. I've done a lot to bring out the sort of woody and honky overtones of the drums to give a much more of a thick vibe. Heavy, heavy compression. Symbol just goes on for infinity. But just to verify things, let's take this box. 
bypass these plugins. Okay. Same overheads. There's that coals in the back of the room on top of the tube traps. There's that RE10 crunchy side snare mic. There's your Neumann, the batter side of the kick in Omni. Bring all this back in with the music. Bring our plugins in. Again, we're a long way from home. In particular, Here it's really low end heavy. Okay, I've really brought out the boxy overtones and then I've used the UBK1 to really accentuate the transients. Lots of thump on that sound. Snare too. Got rid of the crisp upper mids. Mics, same drummer, same drums, very different sounds. Thanks for listening. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Riding the Mix Bus. Thanks so much for joining us. If you liked anything you saw or heard or learned anything today, God forbid, um, please do us a favor and hit the subscribe button. You know how to do this by now. Leave us a comment, thumbs up, thumbs down. It's all good. And if you're so inclined, head on over to thehouseofkush.com and sign up for the newsletter. I will occasionally write you very strange things, but you'll appreciate all of it. Thanks for joining us, and see you next time on Ride the Mix Bus.